I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? <clears throat> what just happened to my voice? <clears throat> Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be finally long awaited making this super cute mood board that I have as my iPad and my MacBook wallpaper. In this video, I showed you guys how to do it in three different dimensions. So for a MacBook Pro, an iPad Pro, and then an iPhone 8 Plus. And I'm also going to be listing off the dimensions for an iPhone 11 because I feel like the dimensions for an 8 Plus and an 11 are what a lot of people have. Honestly, I, at first I was hesitant about filming this video because when I got an initial comment about how I made this and that I should make a video on it I was kind of hesitant because I thought that this was something that like a lot of people would need help with and would know how to do and then I got to thinking about it and I started getting more and more comments asking me how I made this and how people can do it and what software I use and just all of these questions on my mood board wallpaper like I said when I got to think about it I started thinking about like for example me and my sister are two totally different people we get along really well but we are so interested in different things and like i didn't want to make this video at first because i was like oh it's gonna be boring and nobody's gonna watch it because everybody knows how to do this and then i thought there are so many things that my sister is good at that would just come naturally to her that i would ask like how do you do that and she would probably be like duh and then there are things you know like tech savvy stuff i consider myself a tech savvy person that comes naturally to me and so that's the whole reason that i created this youtube channel is to be able to share knowledge and tips and so I'm actually so happy that this is something that I can show people how to do because like I said things that come naturally to me or things that I might think are simple are might be things that other people might not think are simple and so I'm super excited to share this with you guys today. Obviously I'm not the person that came up with this whole mood board idea but I just kind of figured it out on my own how to make it because I saw different mood boards on Pinterest and I was like you know what I want to make one specifically for me and what I want to manifest this year and that's kind of what this mood board board that I have is based off of and so I did a few different kinds in this video. I use Canva to create these and you guys will see more of that later in the video but I did want to list off the dimensions for you guys that I am using. So I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch and the dimensions for that are 2560 by 1600. The iPad Pro are 1536 by 2048. The iPhone 8 Plus which is the phone that I have is 1334 by 750 and then if you have an iPhone 11 it is going to be 1436 by 3113. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay so this is what it looks like on my computer. I have this set as my computer and my iPad wallpaper because I like having this as my wallpaper on both of these things so whenever I get on it I can see this kind of mood board. If you are wondering why there are little minions over here they are actually folders um and on this other thing I love minions random fun fact about me but I love of minions and so I have them sitting on this cute little banana wallpaper and on the bananas kind of out of the way and then I have this video that I need to upload to my hard drive and then my resume down here which I just keep there for easy access but this is not the wallpaper we are focusing on today we are focusing on this one so we're gonna go ahead and open up canva and then normally what I do is create a design custom dimensions and we are going to start off with the macbook one so the macbook dimensions like I said are two five six six zero by 1600 and there we go we have the macbook dimensions and then the next thing that we are going to do is go into pinterest you can do a few different things with this so you could do things like look up blue aesthetic chic aesthetic grunge aesthetic yellow aesthetic pink aesthetic whatever aesthetic you want watermelon aesthetic i don't know is that a thing probably but you can do whatever you want i think that this one that i have is probably more of like a chic aesthetic look Look. it is kind of random because these are personal things to me so that's another thing that you can do I mentioned in one of my other videos this wallpaper is kind of manifestations for me so for example like this I don't expect to get to this many subscribers anytime soon but it just kind of reminds me that YouTube is one of my goals in growing my channel for the year shopping love shopping getting an apartment with my boyfriend going to st. Lucia having my own little workspace I really want to grow out my hair which is why there's this gorgeous blonde hair over 
over here. I love this girl's body. I don't even know who it is because her head was cut off in the picture I found on Pinterest, but she has such a nice body. And so just, you know, like these quotes, just staying motivated and reaching my goals. So you could also do it, you know, personal to you, kind of how I did this one. But for this video, I am going to be doing a blue aesthetic, a grunge aesthetic, and a boho aesthetic. So I think that for the computer one, we are going to do the blue aesthetic. Okay, so we're just going to type in blue and then all of these super cute blue aesthetic pictures come up. So normally what I do is I just create a board. So we're going to go just name it blue aesthetic. And we are going to go and pick out some pictures for it. Awesome. So now while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just do the boards for the other ones that I want to go for. So literally just typed in grunge aesthetic. I love this stuff so much. Like you guys don't even know. This is also very me. <laughs> Okay, I think I got enough for that one. And then the other one that I wanna do is a boho aesthetic. Okay, this is also super cute. Not really like my style, but I absolutely love it. Okay, I think I am good on these two. Also, if the lighting changes a million times, it's because I have a window right here and I have the blinds facing up so that that doesn't happen, but the clouds keep passing. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> the clouds keep passing the sun and it's making the lighting change, which is super annoying, but I wanted to make sure that I could film this video today so that I could get it up, but besides the point. So now that I have all my Pinterest pictures, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my boards and then I'm gonna start off with the blue one. So normally I just go ahead and drag these all to my desktop so that I can import them into Canva. I think I got all of them. So now we're gonna go over to Canva and you can literally just select all of these and then drag them here and it'll go into your uploads. Okay, so then what I like to do is just randomly start placing them. So I think that I like how that looks. So we are going to leave this one like this and then go on and make another image in the size of an iPad wallpaper. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here and go ahead and delete all of these because I don't need them because they're already uploaded into my Canva. And then I'm gonna go back here, go to my, I think we're gonna do boho aesthetic for the iPad. I keep making this bigger because I feel like it's easier to see and then I have to move it back, but you guys get what I'm going for. And then now we are going to go ahead and do the same exact thing that we did with the MacBook wallpaper and just kind of organize them. Honestly, this is the most tedious part is kind of organizing it and figuring out how you want it. Some images are bigger, some are smaller, some have to be moved around, some I don't even use. So it really just depends on how yours turns out depending on the pictures you want. Okay. 
Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed with how this one came out. I think it's so freaking cute that I honestly might change my iPad home screen to this because even though, like I said, the whole boho thing I've loved for years, but I've just never really like picked up on it personally because I feel like my style is more of like a chic modern style, but this is so cute and I'm absolutely obsessed with how this turned out. So again, I'm gonna take these and just go ahead and trash them because they're already uploaded to Canva. Go over here and then we're going to go back and and now for the iPhone wallpaper, we are going to do the grunge aesthetic. I am gonna go ahead and do the wallpaper that fits my phone, which is an iPhone 8 Plus, but if you wanted to do it for an iPhone 11, the dimensions are 1436 by 3113. Okay, so this is obviously sideways. What I'm gonna do is just go in here and remember this one is 750 and then 750 and then I'm just gonna resize it. I don't know if there's a way that you can just do this easier and just flip that, but I haven't figured it out yet, so we just did it like that, but it's okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back and get these. Okay, I also love the fact that I accidentally picked an ad, but I love this picture, so we're just gonna crop the bottom out to be able to use this image. All right, and now for the last one, as usual, grab these, upload, and we are back to the usual, sorting them to get them how we want them to look. Okay, awesome, and then this is the last one. So now that I'm all done with these, we're gonna go ahead and delete these. We can exit out Pinterest because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm just going to title these so that I know which one's which. And then we're gonna go ahead and download all of these. You can do whatever size you want. I normally just leave it at one and I think that the quality is fine. Maybe for a MacBook, we'll bump it up to two. Um, but the iPhone and iPad wallpaper, I'm pretty sure I just did the one in terms of size. Okay, so now that we are done downloading, I have these all over here and I'm gonna go ahead and text them to myself. And you can stop here because I think that they look really good and super cute, but I do have one more step that is optional if you guys would like to do it. So we're gonna show you how to do that one last step. Okay, so like I said, this last step is optional, but I do really think that it kind of ties everything together. So it is adding a filter on top of the picture that you made. So you can see that I already did it with these two. We're going to go ahead and add these in from my camera roll. And then I'm just gonna use a preset that I already have. I'm using Lightroom to do this, but you could use anything that has a filter. So Visco, there's even filters already in Canva if you wanted to use one of those. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead, scroll, go to my preset and literally just throw this on there. I'm so obsessed with the way that it looks. So I think that this kind of just makes everything look more cohesive. So this is the before and then this is the after. So I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I think that it looks so much better so i love the way that this looks and then we're gonna do the same thing over here now this one might be kind of crazy because this preset that i'm using is called sea salt and it picks up on blues so i think that we're gonna go ahead and tone this down just a little bit this is one of the reasons that i love lightroom because on here grab the blues and we're just gonna take these babies down so that they are not This is the before and this is the after. I love the way that it turns out. And then one final one. And you can use different presets on these. I'm just using the same one. And then this I think looks okay without editing it also. So then once you have all of these done, basically just download them as usual and then you can send them to their respective devices and you are done. So this is how the wallpapers turned out. I think they're super cute. I absolutely love this grunge one on my phone. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Baby, 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 baby. You driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Got me trying to stay sober. Wanted to your love and I'm out here hungover You made me wanna take you to London, Paris Thanks, so